Oscar nominee, Nocturnal Animal star Michael Shannon is up for Best Supporting Actor, and he's joining us now. Good morning and congratulations, Michael. Oh, thank you. Thank and, you so much. And I, I, had a I had a chance to sit down with you and Aaron Taylor Johnson and Tom Ford and do an interview before it, and we talked about this movie and how moving it is, but are you surprised about your second nomination for an Oscar, and did you see, did you see it live, or did somebody have to call and wake you up? Well, you know, I'm in uh, Newcastle, England right now, so, uh, and I'm uh, working on another project. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, just dropped out of the sky, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I love the movie. I think it's, you know, obviously it's kind of a, a dark movie, like you were saying, very emotional, but uh, I think it seems to be striking a chord with, with some people, yeah. Well, you seem to be pretty relaxed right now, but when you first hear the news, do you let out a scream? Who do you tell first? <laughs> I, you know, it's so funny. I, I'm, I'm at a hotel right now, waiting for my room. So I'm, I'm literally standing out on the sidewalk, <laughs> facing around. That's so funny. Uh, have you, have you, have you mentioned to them that you're nominated for an Oscar? Have you just gone to the front yeah, yeah, desk yeah. and said, "You'll get a better room that way." Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe a view. Yeah, I think I should go back in. Yeah. So, so you haven't really had a but chance. I haven't, yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk to any of my uh, family yet or anything, being so far away. Yeah. But I tell you what, I'm pretty sure they're going to be extremely happy to mm. get this news. As happy as you are, and um, it's well deserved. And and we hope you, you get Michael. checked into that room really soon, yeah. <laughs> and, and a good room, at, a good room at that. And we'll be we'll be looking out for you at the Oscars, and we wish you luck, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Congrats. That's one nominee we know was not in pajamas. Yes. <laughs> Every other right. nominee, I assume, is in sleepwear because it's so early in Hollywood this time of day. But I can only imagine the feeling when you get this call, especially, I'm, I'm pretty sure for some, they say, I'm not going to pay attention. Mm. I'm going to sleep right. in. I'm just, if I get a phone call in the middle of the, of the morning, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And for them, it's got to be very exciting when that phone rings. You kind of try to tell yourself, I'm just happy with the nomination. Yeah. Don't yeah. have to worry yeah. about the rest. And, also, to and to he finish, was a surprise. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, he, I don't think he had a lot of expectations. You know what I mean? So it was especially sweet for him. Although I would say Michael Shannon is probably the least excitable Oscar nominee <laughs> yeah. ever. <laughs> You're right about that, hole. Jess. Hey, I want to ask Chris Connolly your opinion. Uh, Mel Gibson, is this the completion of the comeback? I guess it is. I guess he's, I, uh, you know, I guess this, this is the, this was the spare slot in Best Director. And I, I think people felt that Hacksaw Ridge was an outstanding movie and he got the nomination. Also, Andrew Garfield mm -hmm. got, got the Nod and, and the film as well, correct? Fine work as well. And to finish off a story that we've all were talking about a lot last year, three of the Best Picture nominees, all about the African American experience, seven actors of color nominated. So we turn the page there for a year at least. Yeah. 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 Performances in the movie very deserving. Right, there were great films and there yeah. were great performances from that. Uh, uh, Mahershala Ali, he's been somebody that's been by the show a, a couple of times, and hopefully we'll, we're going to hear from him in a little bit. And they talked about Moonlight, and it was like the little film that could. Absolutely. And what is it about it? Do you think that's resonated with folks? I think that it was. It's a coming of age tale. Yeah. Just really well told, and so no matter artistic, yeah. artistic, but any good coming of age tale that's well told is universal. Mm -hmm. And it's it's strange to say because this kid's life was so extraordinary and unrelatable to a lot of people. So but it was so yeah, well that. done that no matter who you are, you can identify with this I, kid. And it's Naomi beautiful. Harris. And Naomi Harris. He, I mean, you oh, usually see her like all yeah. glam and, and, and for her to take the role. And she said it was really something because she didn't want to fit that stereotype. And she said because of Barry Jenkins, the, yeah. the, the it's his story. And she bought into it and said it, it, it is just so beautifully done. And people haven't seen it, they should take the time to do that. He's, he's also yeah. will probably win. Yeah. Mahershala and Viola Davis. Mm -hmm. I think the two supporting categories are, are a lot mm -hmm. for Viola. Really? All right. Wow. Jess Cagle said it. Early, there yeah. you go.